Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the quadratic formula. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. And so here's that groovy website. And if you go there, this is an integrated math uh, 2 link. So it's going to be loaded right down there. So we're getting close uh, towards our end of our semester. So this will be right down here. This is part one of of section 9.3. So our question is here, here is how can we use the quadratic formula to solve equations? We're also going to be discussing uh, the discriminant and that's coming up right here. So describe the nature of the roots. Okay, so when the quadratic, or, the quadratic equation is in uh, it equals zero, the number in front of uh, x squared is a, the number in front of x is b, and our constant is uh, c. All right, so if the b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, so this number squared minus 4 times this number times this number, if it's greater than zero, uh, then there's two real solutions. Remember, these make parabolas. So, so a parabola will go up and down like that. And so where it crosses the x-axis right here, there's two spots, okay? And if it equals zero, there's only one spot. That just means the vertex is right there on the x-axis right there. Okay, and then when it's less than zero, then there's no real solutions. That just means that our uh, parabola doesn't cross the x-axis. Okay, and all of this b squared minus 4ac stuff is called our discriminant. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and determine how many real solutions uh, each equation has. Okay, so here we go. So um, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c here, and it has to equal zero. So this one, we're going to have to add two to both sides. Okay, on this guy right here, we're going to make sure it equals zero. This one does. A is one, B is negative four, and C is three. So here we go. So B squared minus four AC. So negative four squared minus four times A times C right there, okay? And then so uh, negative four squared is uh, 16, and 16 minus 12 equals four, okay? And since uh, four is greater than zero, then this uh, equation has two real solutions. Okay, on this guy, we gotta make it equal to zero, so we're gonna plus two to both sides, okay? 13 plus two is 15. And then here's A, here's B, here's C right there. So B squared minus 4AC gives us negative 24. And since that's less than zero, there's no real solutions. All right, here's one with some radicals right here. Okay, so A is right here. A is one-fourth. And, and um, uh, this is B right here. In fact, I'm going to float B out in front right there. And C is seven right there. Okay, and they're just, they're just trying to trip us up right there. So here's A, here's B. Uh, here's C. Whoops, I should probably, there should be a negative right there. B is that negative. Let me do that real quick, okay? So B is negative, um, uh, negative root 7. I'm going to, let me grab that and make sure I have it in the rest of my slides so I can act smart in my class when I teach this, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, b squared minus 4ac is negative uh, root 7 squared. So there's a little negative root 7 right there. And negative root 7 squared is positive 7. And then uh, minus 4 times 1 fourth, because a is 1 fourth, and, and c is that negative... Uh, uh, or C is that 7 right there, so these 4's cancel, these 1's cancel, so, so negative root 7 squared or positive root 7 squared equals 7, okay, and all of this cancels, so we have minus 7, so 7 minus 7 equals 0, so since uh, it equals 0, there's one real solution right there, okay. All right, so uh, so far we've learned how to uh, factor and set the factors equal to zero. Then we did square roots of both sides and did the plus or minus stuff. Um, if we can get a perfect square to make it equal a number. And then what we do, then we, um, uh, then we, uh, oh, we completed the square, and so here's another way we can use the quadratic formula. So when it's in this form and it equals zero, then the solutions are, when it equals zero, it has to equal zero, okay? The solutions are uh, opposite b or negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right, I hate to sing this because it gets stuck in my head, but here we go. X equals opposite B plus or minus square root. Sorry, you guys. B squared minus 4AC all over 2A.
You can sing it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I like this one better. Some negative boy couldn't decide, so plus or minus, couldn't decide on whether to go to a radical party or to be square and miss out on four awesome chicks. The party was over at 2 a.m. Whatever helps, you guys. Uh, either way, so I'm, uh, x equals uh, opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and it's all over 2a. Okay, this is our numerator right there. Okay. Anyway, so let's try this. Solve using the, the quadratic formula. Okay, so the directions say solve using the quadratic formula. So here's a, here's b, here's c right here. So we're going to go negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, a square root of all of that, and then all over 2a. So here we go. Okay, so opposite or negative negative 6. Okay, plus or minus uh, negative uh, the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times this number times this number all over 2 times this number. Okay, so negative negative 6 is positive 6. Okay, 36, uh, this becomes a plus 28. This is where kids get tripped up right there. A negative times a negative makes this a, a plus all over 2. All right, and that adds up to a nice uh, perfect square. The square root of 64 is 8. So it's uh, 6 plus 8 over 2, 6 minus 8 over 2. Okay, so we get 14 over 2 or negative 2 over 2, and that gets us uh, 7 or negative 1. Okay, all right, so um, let's try this one here. Okay, so this one doesn't equal zero, so we're going to go ahead and uh, subtract 8x and add 8 to make it equal to zero. So now here's a, here's b, here's c. So x equals opposite b plus or minus square. Anyway, so negative b, some, some negative boy couldn't decide on whether to go to a radical party or to b square and miss out on four awesome chicks. The party was over at 2 a.m. All right, so sorry, you guys, that's said all over the nation, so I didn't make that up. That's said everywhere. Anyway, so here's A, here's B, here's C. So opposite this negative 8 is going to be positive 8, okay, plus or minus uh, negative 8 squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So I just plugged them all in. Okay, now it's just uh, number crunching. You're going to have to know this on your upcoming test. I know your teacher will have you uh, require you to know that, okay? So whatever gimmick helps you guys, okay? So that's 64, okay? That's 56, so 64 minus 56 is 8, okay? And then uh, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, so it's 2 root 2. And then as long as we can divide all of these by the same number, it has to be by the same number. Don't divide 4 into 8 if you can't divide 4 into 2. But we can divide all of these by 2. So let's divide those all by 2. Okay, so then, and then this becomes 4, 4 plus or minus 1 root 2, which is just uh, root 2 over 2. Okay, so there's our answer right there. Now your book likes to do this. They like to separate them. Here's our 4 over 2 plus or minus uh, root 2 over 2. And then, um, and then they can go ahead and divide the 4 and the 2 to get 2. Okay, but this 2 on the denominator is also attached uh, with that root 2 right there, okay? I think it's easier to do it that way. All right, you guys, if you're in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.